Morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Um, WL Toys has recently released, uh, about a month and a half ago, uh, a brushed version of uh, their 124008. Um, in this case, it is the 124010. Um, as you guys know, there's already a few reviews of this guy already. And uh, for the most part, um, a lot of people have been thoroughly um, satisfied with the performance of it. Uh, it's a 560 brushed motor, um, gets it close to the uh, 55 kilometer an hour uh, box speed that it says right there, so 50 or so. Um, so I'm thinking part of the beauty of this uh, is uh, not to convert it to brushes because that can easily be done. Just to kind of conserve it the way it is and maybe do a few mods here and there just to get a little bit more speed out of it. So what I've done, um, very, very basic mods to mine. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I've done. Basically, I've uh, ordered a set of tires from the SG116 Max. It's their one. It's a 116 scale um, Truggy, and I've installed them on my 112 scale 124010. As you can see, it does look quite good with them on um, it adds a bit of width so it'll give it a bit more stability which I mean it's stable already at, at high speeds and turns as you can see from other uh, reviews um, but I just think it just makes it look a little bit more nicer and a couple more advantages a they're very lightweight so they won't really cause much stress on the diffs um, and B uh, being a larger diameter, you'll also get a little bit more top speed out of the car itself in stock form. And uh, you got a bit more ground clearance as well um, from, as you can kind of see right here, when you want to kind of take it off-road. So that's what I did cosmetically. The, that's basically the only change because the car is perfect weight. I think it's an absolutely beautiful machine, as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. They were, they were spot on when it comes to the uh, design of the 124010 and I love it. It happens to be the three of my favorite colors in Spectrum, black, yellow, and silver. And I think it was executed perfectly. The only other thing I've done is, whoops. I put in a 2200 7.4 volt lithium ion, sorry, lithium polymer battery. And I put a bit of foam underneath of it just to kind of hold it nice and tight up against that lock. And uh, all I did basically to secure it and kind of clean it up a bit, I just opened up this little compartment and I fed the wire of the battery through the hole, screwed it back down and connected it. So basically it's bone stock, same 7.4 volt uh, brushed ESC uh, receiver combo. Everything is basically stock. So because really nothing else has to be changed, in my opinion, for this particular buggy. If you want to go brushless, it's already there, the 124008. But this, I find, should stay the way it is. Like I said, it looks really good as is. You want to go brushless? You can. You can convert this. So you can put a 3660 in it. I guess you could. But, I don't know. For me, I kind of like it the way it is. It's true to its... Um, I guess introduction, I guess you can say. And uh, I don't know, because there's already a brushless buggy on the market already, there, there's really no need to kind of convert this. But, you know, if you really wanted to, you could. You can always buy, you know, the pinion from the 124008. You can buy a 3660, it's no problem. But I think, I don't know, I just think it just, it's just best left as is. You want to change your tires you could you want to know if you don't want to you don't have to i personally think just with these two little mods it'll clear say 60 kilometers an hour i think it's a pretty safe assumption uh because with the lipo you'll get about 55 with these tires here plus the ballooning factor yeah i'm thinking about 60 or at least close to 60 for a brushed 560 car I think it's quick enough. I mean, you want to go brushless, like I said, you could. But this is pretty much pushing the limits of a brush system as it is. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, 
this is an update on my 124010 uh, from WL Toys. If you guys have any questions about this RC or any of the other ones in my fleet, please leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions that you guys may have. All right, have a good day, guys. Ciao.